Good morning, Life Point Church, and welcome back for our daily devotionals. I've got my two cents to share with you today, or maybe even one cent, because today we're talking about the penny. Find a penny, pick it up. All day you'll have good luck, right? We used to play that as a kid, but only pick up that penny if it was heads up. You don't pick up a tails down penny. <laughs> the funny things that we used to do. And how significant now is the penny? I remember as a kid, if you saw a penny in the street, you picked it up. You put it in your pocket, you saved it. But a lot of times now, I think if you see a dirty, filthy penny on the side of the road, you're not going to like get out your car and jump out and pick up the penny. But the penny is very interesting. Did you know that it's the first currency that was authorized in the United States? And since then, more than 300 billion pennies have been made. And if you line them up side by side, it would circle the earth more than 327 times. It's amazing. It's also the first currency that would say, in God we trust. Perhaps one of the most amazing facts about the penny is, is that charities have used this seemingly uh, meaningless penny to raise millions and millions of dollars for charities around the United States. Ronald McDonald House, UNICEF, and the Salvation Army has used this powerful penny to raise lots of money for their cause. And they rely on you to be willing to give what you would seem, uh, or might seem, just to be something that is meaningless. That little change that's dangling in your pocket, they rely on you when they ring that bell that you would just be willing to give something small. And many people have, and they raise so much money. So it's not actually about the power of the penny, but more about the power of somebody willing to give, even at just a small amount. The Bible reminds us about us being willing, and not the amount that we give, but it's a mindset. In 2 Corinthians, it says, if the eagerness or the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what a person has, not according to what he does not have. So it's not the amount that we can do, but if we can all get together and be willing to further the kingdom of God, to do things in the church, to give to charities, if we can all be willing in one mind, in one accord, we can see great things happen. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I look forward to joining you here tonight for Bible study and also tomorrow for our daily devotional. Thank you so much.